Good morning. It's Friday, June 3rd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Working on a Harvest, and our scripture is Galatians chapter 6, where Paul writes, Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. The simplicity with which the scriptures lay out our choices is sometimes too startling for 21st century minds. We do not really want simple. We want multiple choice, categories, and options, not just live or die. To say there are only two choices, life and death, is to court the wrath of the wokeness police. Yet, there it is, in Aramaic, Hebrew, Greek, King James, and whatever other language you need or want, the harvest will be what you plant, no matter whether you intended it to be that way, or for that matter if you think you're entitled to something different. The choice is only plant or don't plant. In short, the laws of harvest remain absolute. You reap that which you plant. The harvest in the last week or so in America uncovers what we've been planting, cultivating, and are now horrified to own. At least 35 murders in three mass shootings, 21 in Uvalde, 10 black persons in Buffalo, and just yesterday, four more at a Tulsa, Oklahoma medical center. Once again, we have sowed violence to the wind and are reaping a harvest of death's whirlwind. If you want to pigeonhole me as to which tribe I follow concerning the gun issue, well, here are the details. Ammunition, if you need it. Number one, I own a handgun. It's loaded. It's ready to defend our home if invaded. I never wear it concealed or openly. It stays under locked conditions for safety. Number two, I do not judge anyone. God's word is enough at doing that, and better than my thoughts by an infinitely exponential mile. Number three, I do blame our culture that twists and bends every sense of goodness to turn a profit, including the NRA's promotion, lobbying, and lack of decency, and Congress facilitating such under the guise of freedom. I also include the purveyors of violence who pander to the culture with video games teaching children who cannot put together a coherent sentence but are fluent in how to kill 98 enemies to reach the next level. They learned this way of life because we, the American people, allow profiteers to spoon-feed violence to our children and the weak-minded among us. God has always judged and will continue to judge any who add to that list. It is the nature of he who created us and holds the next breath we may or may not take. The choice is to be under his will of peacemaker or under his judgment for peacebreaker. Simple, uncomplicated, and lovingly just. For you today. My dad was of the generation that did not mind letting you know there are consequences for our actions. Have you ever heard this phrase? You upset because you don't think I'm being fair? I'll give you something to be upset about. (laughs) I kind of think dad knew something about reaping the whirlwind. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.